Hey, what is going on, guys? FaZe here with Sniping Mob Sundays on Vulture Games. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, today, to kick off episode 10, uh, I got my buddy here, Cal, or YouTube Stealth of Blade. He's a pretty awesome sniper as well, like me. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the dual com. And, uh, Cal, you want to introduce yourself? What's up, guys? My name is Cal, or Stealth of Blade, is my YouTube channel. And I'm a commentator, and I just, I'm a feeder, so, yeah. Pretty and much. recently, recently got uh, his gameplay uploaded by Wicked Trap. No, I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, uh this gun fucking sucks. He he got a what was the gun again? Uh, it was the M320 GLM. Yeah, won won a free for all with a noob tube secondary, so that was pretty legit. Um, but yeah, so today I thought we'd uh, for episode ten kind of go away from the whole uh, non Call of Duty related stuff and kind of bring it back just for this commentary to. Kind of um, look back at how how sniping's changed, how how standards have changed as far as clips, and how clans have changed. So, um, I guess to start it off, I, we might as well. Uh, I guess we'll start with COD Four, kind of just um, work our way up, and then maybe go through clans. And uh, at the end, hopefully, if we have enough time, talk about some black ops too. So, for me personally, with COD Four, I think um, the ACOG sniper was really the only game that with the ACOG sniper was good and usable in. I don't know if you agree with me, Cal, but... Oh, yeah, 100%. I like the was, ACOG in COD 4 a lot because uh, it took up more of your screen, so it was a lot more, like, it was a lot better to use in general. It felt, felt like it, you could actually quick scope better almost with it rather than just kind of have, have... It felt like it was, like, say, for Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, it just, just felt off, and it wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't a good attachment, and hopefully for Black Ops 2, I would like to see that come back. But, um, yeah, basically, I guess what, as far as the standards, though, I mean, you look at... COD 4 when COD 4 was out I think like no scopes and even just like one like a collateral or a no scope cross map not even cross map just no scopes for clips and uh, Modern Warfare 2 when Modern Warfare 2 was out I mean you'd get like a, a triple feed was like a good kill you know yeah in like COD 4 it was it was cool yeah. cause like you go back now and you watch uh, Zergris' montage lock and load that was realistically like I think that was the first COD 4 montage that was on YouTube like yeah. one of the first anyways Sure, and, and I just no scopes and quick scopes, and yeah, people because it was it was just he he was one of the first people to get a recording device and put a little music in there with uh, those dazzles recording systems, and I mean you make a montage. It wasn't it wasn't all about the kill feedback then. It was more just about kind of having fun and putting a few clips together, right? Yeah, it was more about not standards of clips. It was more about what clips you liked and what clips you enjoyed getting. But now yeah. it seems like you're required to get at least a quad feed or a triple or insane stuff like that rather than just having getting clips that you have fun getting yeah having fun getting that maybe look cool that's maybe say like a like for me I, I'm, I'm not i'm not gonna lie i'm not the best sniper not the best kill feeder i'm the leader of a clan but uh it's kind of an understatement because i'm not good at all at actually getting clips but i mean i'll play world at war and even like this week i got a quick scope like black scope collateral pretty far away i saved that i'm not gonna lie it's not. It's not a quad feed. It's not a triple collateral. But I. Th I think it's cool. And for my subs, they seem to like my montages just with, with cool clips. And I kind of hope it. I, I. It's too bad it didn't stay that way. Mm -hmm. And I. And I like the idea of getting like unique clips and like cool clips that are out of the ordinary. Because l let's be honest, a lot of people nowadays are just getting bored of the regular quad feeds and triples. And uh, it's like okay, maybe when people get like eleven mans and like six mans and seven mans and quads and five man collats it's that's pretty cool but like the regular quad feeds and stuff people get bored of that so what yeah, i like to I do mean, occasionally is i like to uh like put on different classes that uh like i got a quad feed with a under barrel shotgun attachment that's a yeah, that's a cool clip to yeah. me. i think that's awesome and that's almost i i'd use that over five men on screen barrett in my opinion because i think that's an original clip not many people have that and I mean, personally, for me, watching episodes, every episode nowadays is a few five bands, a few triple collaterals. The rest is just quad feeds, right? You don't really see all those those interesting clips anymore. It's more just about how the how the kill feed looks, which is kind of too bad. Yeah, and it, and it sucks that so many people are getting into it. Like, I I kind of sound like a hypocrite because I'm I just got into kill feeding in Modern Warfare Three, but I, I've enjoyed quick scoping ever since COD Four, but. It, it sucks that so many people are getting into it and, and the standards are just going up 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 and it's just getting harder to keep up with the standards so. it's almost like a job for some people when you're in a clan now it's like you you're just stressed out and you just feel like you need to hit clips otherwise you're gonna get kicked from a clan or whatever and 
I, I don't think it should be that way. It should just be more about having some fun and producing some good content, but not in like a stressful way. Yeah, just play to play. And if you get clips yeah. along the way, then that's cool. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah, from COD 4 to Modern Warfare 2, there wasn't too much of a change with uh, kill feeding. It was mainly still just, you know, yeah. triple feeds. But. I'd say it really, st I mean, Black Ops 2, I mean, sorry, I should say Black Ops 2 is in T-O-O. Um, Black Ops as well, I guess. I, I, even that, I mean, you, you have those select few YouTubers that really made it big because they were one of the few that really started getting kill feeds and getting quad feeds and stuff. But even in Black Ops, I mean, I, I was talking to you, I think it was you and a, n a bunch of other people. I mean, we all were just telling stories of our first ever, like, w single quick scope montages, right? Yeah. You're playing Black Ops, you get an L96 quick scope, save that. You get another one in the same game, save that. Collaterals were like, holy crap, I got a collateral for me, personally, in Black oh, yeah. Ops. And Black Ops I mean, was tougher clats. That's exactly. Sure. Made my first ever single, single, uh, <laughs> single... <laughs> single quick scope montage got some likes from my friends and stuff and but i mean now you post that and you'll just get like 50 dislikes and you'll get all these trolls saying your shit and whatever but uh, yeah it, I, modern warfare 3 was really the game changer as soon as that game came out it just yeah. started being incredible what was what people were doing you know well it, it started out in cod 4 it was just like you know collats you know just two kills three kills and then as it escalated like uh, I think I think Modern Warfare 2 was like the first you started seeing some of the first quad feeds like becoming the standards and then you move into Black Ops and because Black Ops is still hard sniping it's uh, staying at quad feeds but now since we're coming into Modern Warfare 3 I, I've heard a lot of people say this and I don't really agree but then again I do but people are saying that the standards are going to jump up to five man feeds so for um, for Modern Warfare 3 uh, yeah yeah, fuck that. I'm out then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm still trying to scrap together enough clips for an actual montage full of quad feeds, and I'm I I play I try to play like every every day or two, and I only have like 13 quad feeds saved up. But every time I get a quad feed, see that's the thing. I I think not being the best at a game is better because every time I get a quad feed, it's something special for me. But I mean, then you have people like Pomage and stuff that they basically want to get a five man every day it seems like and if they don't they're mad <laughs> like mm -hmm. i i don't know i i i'm not i don't mind not being a amazing sniper yeah. for now at least mm -hmm. but uh we got we got a couple minutes left in this commentary so um let's skip now to black ops 2 so we were talking i think we were going to talk about this at the start of the commentary but um along with the standards thing i personally i don't know about you but i personally hope that the sniping it's a positive and negative because I like sniping in, in Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, I think if they if they kind of bring the sniping and the how it's balanced and the challenge of it back to Black Ops standards, like if, if they make it harder to snipe, harder to do all that stuff like they did in Black Ops 1, I think that would kind of almost restart the standards. Not, not completely to like collaterals and no scopes, but I think people would be given a chance to kind of... Uh, all start at the same time to go kill feeding and whatever, right? You know. Yeah, it, it would definitely it, uh, make the standards take a step back. So. Yeah. Because I mean, right right now, if it's anywhere as similar to Modern Warfare 3 or easier to snipe in Black Ops, I mean, people just won't be able to keep up. The standards are just going to be so unbelievably high that it'll be impossible to start a clan, say, with your friends and without getting hate or start just basically post anything without putting like a bunch of time into getting those clips right yeah this won't be possible mm -hmm. yeah. and a quick little thing about the clans it seems like the clans are just getting like there's too many clans on youtube now so i'm just I mean, saying if, if you th if you're thinking about starting a clan at this point just i unless you guys have crazy high standards then uh i'd say it's kind of pointless but that's if, if you plan to make a clan just with your friends and get a few subs then i think that's fine but no clans are going to go big nowadays. There's probably, and I don't think this is an understatement, I'd say there's 500 clans that have under 500 subs right now. Oh, that's and more than that. They're just up left, right, and center. I don't know half of them anymore. And, I mean, uh, luckily 1017 is kind of in a, in a group of around the 1,000 to 5,000 subs. But even there, there's, there's a, a good number of clans in that category. And unless you do some, some crazy stuff, you're not going to be able to move up and become... Like it's realistically face clan. I'm not saying they're the, they're not good now, but the reason those clans are so big now is because when they started and the gold rush has passed, and it's kind of too late to to go big on YouTube now. Yeah. 
it's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, sorry, this is the end of the commentary. Uh, finish it off here with episode ten. Maybe I'll have Cal back on for episode eleven. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been Phase. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Peace.